Indeed, and aloha, meatheads. This has been a long time coming. Shared and feature, including the world damage record, brought to you by I'm a freaking genius. Post nerf time, showing the tank is still super capable. And this is a full 40 minutes of Sheridan shenanigans. The longest video I've ever done. We got chaos missiles, ass clownery, the whole deal. And no missiles equals no problem for I'm a freaking genius. And one of the top tips for playing this tank correctly is being aware of the armor profile, both as a player and as a competitor against it. All that pink area there is spaced armor. So uh, don't shoot HE at that box at all. You got that lower butt there and then the turret if you can pen it. But that uh, pink magenta part will absorb your heat and HE rounds. Easier to see here looking at the cut through cross section. See the spacing? You've got to shoot even AP or APCR in most cases pretty flat on, which is why when I drive it, I wiggle the button, shake it around a bit, and you'll see that put to good effect in some clips I have here. First one on Black Goldville, notice I'm wiggling around right there in the spaced armor in the rear here. Second shot, I'm uh, angled up to that uh, Russian medium there, but the AMX 30B got me right in the rear. Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> it's still wiggling around, pissing these guys off, going in for the kill on the AMX 30. Love it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> he says lucky, and I say absolutely true. <laughs> Waffle Tractor shoots me right in the mantlet. Totally impregnable mantlet, even to the Waffle Tractor. I'm going to go in and prove it to him again. Getting ready for the full roll. Stick the mantlet right in his face. <laughs> oh man, sucks for you, but I love it. And then 700 HP full roll and put away. And that's all she wrote. So wiggle around. People will have a really hard time petting you. Use that armor as much as you can. But now it's I'm a freaking genius. One of the best names in the game. I love it. Mr. G New Ice. Uh, thanks for sending this in. World damage record without missiles. And one thing you'll note is the world or the damage records are now lower because people aren't able to get those cheeky missile shots arc over anymore. So it has change the threshold but he's going to be a great light tank player and go where he should go for mediums and lights on this map on dork bay headed across the river gonna light up the reds get some spots and shots going team is still trying to figure it out and pull it out not quite ready to help there's a lot of lag in the beginning of this replay i tried to record it two or three times and it's the same thing so it's embedded in the replay this skipping around but it irons itself out in just a few seconds here team has decided they will help reload not quite fast enough there and he's going to use this ridge this little mount as cover against the reds it's a great place to keep your tank shielded from these guys so he lights these guys up. A bit more um, lag embedded in the replay. You'll see in a second and then it's done with. Shot goes by, he's got the precision fire ready to go. AMX 50 wasting his tank. Okay, this guy is a real zero, that's true. Not a great way to waste a strong tank. Full roll. I am the queen here. The queen of the crop. And there is no one that does it better. <laughs> I am the queen. Gets the nice bounce after dispatching the T-54. This side is cleared, he's safe over here. He can farm the rear of the reds. Help suppress fire from that gorilla who just derped an HE into the ground. He's gonna take care of the gorilla and load up the precision skills again. 
the cream of the crop. Yeah. Nice. So he's got precision fire loaded up, ready to rock. Let's see if we can get another 700 roll. A bit low this time with 530, but still. T62 is pretty much a one shot now. Ah. Double bounce and the dispatch. Hey, what are you up to, boy? And this makes sense here to trade his HP. Oh, yeah. So he's taken one gun out and given away very little in the way of hit points. So very smart decision there. ST1 is a very formidable hold down tank, and he is complete. He just doesn't know how to position that tank and uh, take care of that, or position that uh, red tomato head to bounce shots. So he's just completely overexposed. But he's going to pressure this IS 7. Precision fire loaded up. 700 damage again and breaks the track. But he's gonna make and a I'm move inviting you on this to ST1. Come see me and to get it straightened out all in one night. Yeah. Gotcha. Invitation accepted. Yes. All too easy. And dinner served. ST1 or STI taken down. Recommendation to get bases doesn't make much sense here. Um, could do it in three minutes, but really then you're just running around capping, which could work. But given the capability both the player and the tank killing off this is7 will bring the glory and i uh, sent him an email about why he's throwing he and heat at the front of the is7 he's basically trying to get the guy to blow his repair kits so uh he wants to break his barrel or anything that he can on him tracks or barrel and get him to blow his repair kit so he can move in and just stomp him and unfortunately due to rng he doesn't get much in the way of hits can't arc missiles, because no missiles. Eh, catches the hill. That's just ridiculous. Come on, there's no dispersion that radical in the world, man. Um, still seeing what he can pull off here. Two HE rounds left. Does absolutely nothing. Well, one HE round. No time left to really cap. C is already taken. So the fight is here in order to win and in order to get the world damage record. No reason to run to B. We just lose. Gotta stop C cap. He's gonna move in, take the hit. The IS-7's a rather low DPM tank in tier 10, so it's okay to do this to try to just out DPM him. Circle of death in effect, classic technique. Just keep away from the pointy end of the IS-7. Gets the nice bounce. Loads up for the world damage record. On the plate. Gonna take the kids to the golden arches as well. I'm gonna smash this guy, finish him. Forget winning on cap. Let's go for the damage record. Gets it in the new Sheridan without missiles. And he takes the entire family, boom, to the Golden Arches. Love to see it. 8,534 damage. Legendary damage done, of course. Epic amount of damage blocked. Knockdown damage for smashing modules and crews. Enemy spotted while the team was potatoing and spawn. Complete destruction, 100%. I think it was a T-54, right? And what else do we got here? Metalwise Scout, again, he's <laughs> spotting everybody up. Helping the team to go away from the town side, and he gets six fools, gets the pools, and high caliber naturally, and top gun doing more work than anybody. And uh, hey, don't be that guy, AMX 5120, rushing in zero damage. He's a habitual line stepper. But the freaking genius, more than capable of making up for it with the world damage record. And of course, he gets the damn near full smorgasbord. Yeah, Six baby. tanks touched yeah. and served up salty. A little bit of something for everybody. Congratulations. To see you on the field. And now we're taking it over to Rockfield. This is John Deere, who you saw yeah, getting the raisin in the gorilla on mines just a couple of weeks back on this channel. All right, here we go. Hold your ears, folks. It's showtime. 
And this is during the missile time, so he uses a couple of missiles here, although he mostly sticks to APCR and HE. And he charges to where every speedy tank should go, is go towards the C cap area, get some spots going. Ghosted that one, or who knows what happened there. Looks like it went right past the gorilla. And he's the gorilla master. He knows what to do. HE loaded up. Breaks the gun. 783 damage. T92 puts him down with a missile. <laughs> and he's wrecked. 7v6 now. Look at that armor profile. Man. Goes for the missile right in the lower front plate. I mean, don't get salty about missile use in that case, because if it were just a regular heat round, he would have used that instead to the exact same results. That was not a crazy arc shot. Strictly a matter of pen, he has, again, precision fire crew skills loaded up. All three penetrating hits. Ready to dump it. There's 700 for you. Ammo rack damage. This T92E1 needs to get scarce. Get out of the way. Right through the spaced armor on the back of the Sheridan. I keep wanting to say hitbox. Spaced armor. T62A tries for the HE derp in the butt, just gets kind of the angle so it doesn't fully pen. It's just gonna work this ridge line for a bit. Ugh, now he gets the bad RNG and luck here. He's uh, bounced off that T62A upper front plate. Gonna get a nice shot onto this Conway coming up as the Conway is trying to traverse to the other side. Check this out. Where did that go? Who knows? Darn, wasted shot. Okay. Team is beginning to collapse over there on the C cap side where he is. Enemy Sheridan. Not quite sure what to do. Ah, missile does not clear the ridge. Time to reposition, get to work. Conway's not looking. Big. Fat HE into the side of the turret. 771 damage, love it. Come on, mouse. Twist and position your tank. T57 is going to get rocked. And he sees the team is collapsing over there, so he's going to get distance. This is the old trading damage for distance, where the team has to approach him and will take damage in doing so. And he's got superior view range. And I see the binoculars. I've just popped up there next to Precision Fire. This gives him, as last man standing, additional view range over the red. So when you're last man standing and you have that, you increase your view range, which he will use to good effect. Smack 700 into the Sheridan. He's an HE blast away. The Sheridan should have pushed because, hey, it's a really long reload. Oh well. Gave up that advantage. Took 700 to the face for nothing. John Deere is back on the hunt. Getting distance again, because he will spot anybody first, seeing where he can shoot people. Throws a chancy shot out there. He knows he'll be able to reload again before he's approached. It's two slow heavies. And that Sheridan, who's been uh, got his tail between his legs. Carefully using that increased vision there. Now that guy, there's no way you can see him. So he knows he's spotted, but he can't tell where John is. Hey, boy! Come here! Quick! Oh, yeah. 
Well, this is between me and these two bullshit guys. Speaking of that, uh, Sheridan just not capable player with that tank at all. Circle of death. Oh, unfortunate hit. Don't want to bleed hit points right now. Okay, he's got this guy down to a one shot. Precision fire is ready again. Yeah. Nice one in the hitbox. Ugh. Unfortunate hit. Puts him down. T57 clips him out. Bravo Red, well played there, but John Deere gets the Golden Arches. 7,665 damage, two kills. Dragging that team, unfortunately, to a loss. He's got the complete destruction going on. Knockdown damage, legendary damage cause, legendary high caliber, of course, leading that team of potatoes, unfortunately, to a loss. Trying to pull victory out of there. You can see the team just not doing the work. Come on, guys. I don't know why they feel it's appropriate to go up into tier 10 with stuff like this, but fine. Um, but the full real deal smorgasbord... A little bit of something for everybody on the table. Each red enemy touched, smacked around, and damaged. Whew, that's a lot of work to put in for the loss, unfortunately, in this glorious little machine. Thanks for sending that in, John. It's been a while. Glad to get it out there for you in the Sheridan feature. We're not even halfway through. Got a little bit of toes action going on. With some hilarity from Mr. Quirty Sad. Toes clan brother in a ratings battle. And he's gonna head out to Sea Cap area to get some spots up and see if um, he can see anybody leaving Red Spawn. Is he alone? A lot of people going to B Cap. Don't really know why when you have that many heavies, kind of would push A, let the TD get some shots, but hey, whatever. Looks like no one is coming here. He's got the missile loaded up. Again, we're back in the time of missiles. I got a lot of replays. I've never featured the Sheridan in full. So I'm showing some good stuff from the olden days mixed with the new. And check this out. This is the goofiest one. <laughs> wow, that's pretty sad. Uh, oh, come on, he writes. Indeed. Man, that just sucks. Just catches the uh, gun. No damage. Enemy is it's also what's going to prevent him from getting the full real deal smorgasbord at the end because of the, just the bounce. Or the no damage shot. Anyhow, back to work. No time to cry over spilt milk. You can clearly see that spaced armor on the front, that slope bit Because there. he's a little bit stupid. Right now is my prime. Yeah, and the uh, T-57 is just sitting there with his uh, full side exposed after already being hit from that angle. Not the smartest thing to do. T-62A just notices him now. Cordy's calling for some help. But, hey, everyone's off in the distance, so you gotta deal with it alone. Yeah, that guy went right up the hill there, so there's no way he could get his gun down. Getting cover under reload, shaking that posterior, conserving hit points, ready to re-engage. He's reloaded, gonna re-engage if he can. T-62A, busted fuel cell. And he's running for cover as he should. Lost right there. All of his HP done. All right. Amazingly, green team is ahead on players. And Mr. Cordy Sad sitting pretty with full HP and capping. Well, so much for that. 
three heavies, two heavies and a light. I would say advantage goes to the green team. He's not going to cap. He's going to kill. So he's got the view range. He can put out the pretty good derp. Let's go put this to work or these uh, heavies are going to die. Time to dispatch. E100 focused. I'm going to smash this guy. Good night, Holy E100. Head. This is why he should not cap. He's got to use that mobility and bring something to the greens that the reds cannot offer. In this case, two heavy tanks left. This is between me and these two bullshit guys. Two bullshit guys left, as usual. Nice big dirt breaks the track. IS-4 is an HE shot away. Both of the heavies go down. E-100 advising to run. I think bo both of them are a little bit scared. Not for QWERTY yeah. sad. No run in here. This shit, no. Nah, he just took a shot. He's not going to put up with that. He's... Uh, no problem. Got to be careful now. I'm going to smash this guy. It's, it's my plan. Gets this guy down to an HE round. Is going to position himself to take advantage. Of any angle he can create. Beautiful. Just waited for him to fire. Moved in. HE in the turret. Brings him to... Boom. The golden arches with the old school background. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, last year, a really long time ago, in the middle of last year, um, got the legendary damage, got epic uh, module and crew knockdown, destroying a ton of people, 4,716 damage, great to see, lovely mastery, and he helped to drag that team to a win, and as you can see here, I'm giving it to him. The damn near full smorgasbord would have been <laughs> would have been six damage if it hadn't bounced off the barrel of that 183 in the background there. Now let's keep it going with a bit more toes action. This time it's me on Himmelsdorf. I am putting this one in here because uh, Himmelsdorf is a very strong map for heavy tanks and very difficult to play uh, with an advantage with lights and mediums. Like a midget at a urinal. I was going to have to stay on my toes. If you don't get a good flank here, it's tough. And here I'm working every trick I can to make Himmelsdorf a success in a supremacy match. I mean, if you're one of these super heavies, you hold down by these ridges and berms down Heavy Alley over there in C and D cap area. And um, put the work in. And just pinch off those uh, corridors or there by decap rather so i grab c i can see two heavies which tells me hopefully their heavies are all going down there i'm going to try to get the rear i see none of our greens have spotted anybody here by a but that's going to be short-lived i pause here thinking i can get shots across but obviously nope there's the walls and stuff should have should have just kept going and action is heating up over here in A Alley, where the lights and mediums tend to go. Got some ammo rack damage on that guy. Drop the adrenaline, hoping maybe I can hit him again there and blow him up. Don't quite catch this T92E1, not reloaded in time. Nobody's focused on me, which is good. Use that to my advantage. He's fired. Get one in the E50, T92E taken down by our Object 140. And this guy's just going to be out DPM with ease. HE. And let's move along and help our heavies before they collapse over there by DCAP. Hope that TD by at C has some shots or it's moving in. You know I'm saying? Even in high tiers, we got big noob problem. Which has only become worse these days. Yeah, I get the full roll with the precision fire crew skills. 700 damage done on the STI. 
They have hit point advantage. STI is gonna poke again. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dispatched with a APCR to the head. I'm telling this guy, shh, because he's just complaining about us as we are now winning on all four caps and doing the work and the damage to carry this guy. Please be quiet, Pendejo, while we do the work. I did not think that he'd be able to snap that off and hit me. Good job, E100. But now you're done. Ugh, can't turn quite tight enough there. <laughs> Make this guy humble too, because he's a little bit stupid. 268 forgot about me entirely. I'm reminding the complaining E75, I am carrying you. We're just gonna win this I'll on caps hello. and kills. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Another full roll that put this guy down. Yes. Well, only a first class out of that, 3,800. Got legendary damage, which is my penultimate goal here. I like the wins and then the legendary damage. Knock down stuff, top gun, hooray for me. Make it real quick, 3,800 and 1,367 XP. Still only gets you the first class. Smack some dudes around. Almost got the damn near full smorgasbord, but not quite. Hit five tanks out of seven, pretty good. Gladiator PB, I'm claiming this guy as Toes. This is his European account when he's stationed over in Europe. Uh, but he's a Toes clan brother nonetheless. I am labeling him as such. This is just a fun game. Look at this. It's a tournament match. All light tanks against the assortment of whatever the other clan has brought to the table. So DD clan against these other guys whose name I just missed. Light tank extravaganza. Showing you that the uh, dearth of hit points that they have can still result in a win. And there's some fun stuff. So they went the heavy side into town, which works out great for our light tank snipers here. This is exactly the play I did in that uh, video with Tommy Tactics, where he's in the ouch, FV4005, and we're just smashing everybody in town. I, I just don't like town. Town is for clowns, even on this map. Badger. Just gonna get picked away, broken tracks, everyone's smacking you around, you don't really have cover. Sorry, buddy. Done in a minute and 15 seconds. Yeagaru, see this is the problem. That, that shot, too bad for the RNG and dispersion. But, multiple angles of fire, where is that tank gonna turn and still have protection out in the open? Just, um... This is why town sucks, because people are raining shots on you from all angles. There's just nowhere to turn, you just have to stay undercover, which means you're not being effective. High mobility tanks, relocating, getting the good angles. Kranwagen, what's up? Uh-oh. Sneaky 140. Nice bounce again, or shot into the spaced armor. He's got that rear end face towards the reds in town. Waiting for somebody to come help on the 140. Not happening. He's got better gun depression than the 140. Now the team's involved. 2v1 means you are done. There's even a third guy back there. See you later, 140. Push too far out from your team, unfortunately, in town is not the good choice. Boom, get wrecked, Nubasaur. Yeah. Nothing to be done here for the heavies. Just overwhelmed and swarmed. Only one green down. That guy's on fire. <laughs> Taken out. Gladiator PB moving in to see how he can help finish off this one guy. Ram, break his track. Drop a derp in him. 
Oh, nice HE in the butt. Team puts them away. Authoritative win. Totally fun. Just silly tournament stuff. Love it. And keep on the lookout for Gladiator PB. This is my little introduction to him. He has sent in a ton of great stuff you're going to be seeing shortly. Emil and a Waffle Tracker and all kinds of goodness. Yeah, I got five guys smacked around. Excellent engagement. Love to see it. Now let's get into some totally hilarious stuff here from Pilot Reitzville, if I say it in a German way. Maybe it's Reitzville in the more anglicized fashion. Thanks for sending this one in. This is hilarious. And now for something completely different. We are in gravity mode in the Sheridan missile, hence the funky graffiti paint job. Getting some spots, not playing it as aggressively as I, I would personally in this mode. This FV4202 is really wanting everyone to move there you can see the crazy glitchy madness that goes on this game cannot keep up with gravity mode at all things kind of do this nice missile shot uh, just just goes by the mouse he's getting some more distance so remember whenever you see this camo color guys you, the newer players here we go. Missile. Right in the side. You're obviously in a fun, non-win rate related game mode. It's the only time you can play missiles anymore right at the moment. Mouse on the charge, but just too slow to take advantage. Keeping players between himself and the mouse. The FE4005. Ill-advised move. Come over here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Uh-oh. Just dodged E-100. Mouse is down. Get in there, buddy. Nice APCR round. Oof. Fuck you, pal! Jeez, just gets a hammer dropped by the mouse. This happens to me every time I shoot someone in the air. Whoa! Be careful. T-22 medium. He's going to be a pain, and Pilot Reedsville really wants, and Reedsville wants to put him down. They have a bit of an exchange. I'm going to smash these guys. It's my plan. He runs away. Ah, it's like one of the worms in Dune just breaching through the sand. Pilot sees the T-22 by himself, but backs up. Waits for the angle. Enemy is hit. Drops the shot into the mouse, who can't recover in time to hit him. Now he's back on the T-22 to put this guy down. Get and this, I hope we're gonna fight finally. Get this high mobility medium out of here. Oh, yeah. Weakest spot on that tank, in the front. I just wanna mold people. This is what I want to do. T-57, full clip reload. Not going to work out. So he's hey, boy, just about reloaded. Get some cover. Let's have a look at you. I'm your huckleberry. Oh, yeah. Takes advantage. One down, one to go. Takes advantage of the lack of gun depression. Watch this. The most beautiful missile shot I've seen. Check this. is beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> a thing of beauty. How, how I can't do that. <laughs> That's just beyond my skills. Totally beyond me. Victory. Uh, three tanks killed. Hilarious game. Just ripping it up. And uh, yeah. Look at that. The damn near full smorgasbord again. Six tanks touched and smacked around. Shows engagement. And now we're going to get wild with Anomaly. You've seen on this channel before. I'm the ghost duck. And every tier for him is seal clubbing, and he heads off to prove it. We're back in gravity mode. Yeah. Catch some air, get some spots. You saw him in the RU-251 ripping it up and getting the raisin metal on this channel. Very good. Okay, very good. 
pure skills, baby. Check this power slide, love this. <laughs> I gotta work on my game. Yeah, you're letting day on the side, buddy. Sure. On the hunt, full turbo speed. I think I think he doesn't stop at all anymore. That was just the one stop he did. Shot goes ripping by him. Hello, Fox. <laughs> Sends him flying to the back of the map. Just keeps the speed going. And I think he look at this. Red's flying. Green's flying. Shots flying. Add a missile to the chaos. Ah, a bounce. Lucky person, yeah. Keep it rolling. Ah, he does stop. Waits for the flat side. Red's flying again. Teammate going red. <laughs> it's just like a circus in here. He's breaking his own tracks left and right. Try to get some distance from the mouse. Manages to get it. What a lucky, lucky, lucky person. Ah, T62A puts one into him. Almost loaded, almost loaded. Can't quite get the shot. Check this out. Ugh. <laughs> 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 oh. Getting knocked around like a balloon at a party. Missile ready to go. Yeah, can't quite get it in there. Everyone's moving around too much. Just ridiculous. Seven missiles left. Just drifting. Mouse, here's something for you. Breaks his track. All I can do is all I can do. Yeah, doesn't get the damage. Still putting the work in. Trying his artist. Two heavies left. E100. Suck on that. <laughs> Broken track again. Everybody on green is going to swarm this mouse and get him out of the game. Look at this shot. Right onto the upper deck, which is why everyone hates the missiles. Uh, yeah. Down he goes. One red left to bag the win in this non-title match. Airborne it is. Everyone's launching missiles. Three-way shots. Triple death. And he just rips that team for 3,367 HP. Doesn't get the kills, but the chaos he managed. Just exciting stuff. And look at the other Sheridan, the hobo under your bunk bed. What a badass. Hey, thanks everybody. First, big shouts out to Patreon Pioneers, Horrors, and Joe Sixpack. So much appreciated what you guys do for the channel. Eldon46, Yippie Kai Yay. And of course, how you like me now, Meat Plus 79. If you want to be a patron, Patreon Pioneer, the link is below. Come and help the channel keep on going. Um, you can message me on Discord, uh, send me your replays, and join us for Seal Club Sunday each and every Sunday, always at the same times listed below. Saddle up on a Discord and join this yeah. salty crew of combative miscreants as we head out onto the field and wreck the news. Yes. The most important thing when playing the Sheridan, as always, keep it salty, Pendejos. Oh, yeah! <laughs>